Well, I didn't think I was forgetting anything from my Walt Disney World haul, but man, was I. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christina Kay. This is part two of my Walt Disney World haul. I will link the first part in the description box below. I got to go to Walt Disney World to open up Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Disney so kindly invited me. It was a dream come true. We had a fabulous time and I bought some things so much, in fact, that I forgot to show them on part one. I remember putting the pins to the side to do close-ups and then I just forgot about them. So we have pins. We have Tiana stuff and more. Let's get into it. Also, does anyone hang up their lounge flies? Like on doors, on walls? Today, I've been working from home all week and today they started falling. Does the heat have something to do with it? Please help a sister out. I don't know what's going on. I'm looking at three of them on the floor right now and that's never happened before. And they've been, they have been hung up for a while. So I am surprised this is what I forgot to show because I think this was the first thing that I got on the trip. I saw this back in February on a mannequin. It was in the vlogs. I wanted it so badly, couldn't find it anywhere. And then I found it on the hottest day of the year because it's long sleeves, but I'm so excited about it. It's Play in the Park collection. You guys know I'm obsessed with it. So, so cute. I love that this was on the front because I feel like this is on the back for other things. So I'm very excited about this. I wish I was getting to Disneyland for their play in the park stuff. I just don't think I'm going to get a chance to go this year, but oh my gosh, so great. I just love that it's a neutral color with the bright and long sleeves. So when it's a cooler month, maybe next February, <laughs> that's when I will wear it. Definitely not on my next trip, which I officially booked today. I can't wait to tell you all the details coming soon. So when we checked in for the media event, they had a Disney artist there doing these watercolors that are just so, so beautiful. And they did one for the each park. We've got Hollywood Studios with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And they're postcards too, but obviously I'm going to frame them as I do with most of my Disney postcards. Um, I just love that when you look at it, it's like, oh, great movie ride. But then when you look closer, you're like, okay, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. But for us like 80s and 90s kids, you know. Then we've got some animal, no, we've got Encanto for Epcot because when we were there, they um, opened up Communicore and they have the Encanto show which I thought the show was really cool. Communicore as a whole, the press party, it was awesome. And then when we saw it afterwards, I was like, mm, they, they could have done more. They could have done more. This one's for Animal Kingdom, Kilimanjaro Safari. I love that they chose giraffes. And then the best one, and it's in the wrapper here, I'll take it out, was for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So, so, so cool. Which all my videos, my vlogs from Communicore, from, Princess and the Frog, the ride through, all of that will be down in the description box below. They had a new pass holder magnet when I went, not new anymore, but Stitch, which was very appropriate because me and my sister are in our Stitch days. <laughs> We're in my, I'm in my Winnie the Pooh era, but Stitch days. So we've got Stitch. I think the next one is Timon. They've been hinting at it. And then I love these mints because they're sugar-free and I love these canisters. I'll use them to like store bobby pins and stuff after. So this is the new one they have for play in the parks because the one before that was for the hundredth. So, and they're so cute. The mints are all shaped like Disney characters. So it's always a game. Who'd everybody get? All right, let's talk about some pins. I might have to do close-ups and I'm going to pull them out in no particular order. First one we have is figment okay how cute though is this i like i love his glittery pajamas and it kind of just gives me the vibes of him uh watching tv in his house when you get to that part of the tour where it's upside down so cute i love figment he's one of my all-time favorites okay next one also figment i just wanted like a simple one to kind of commemorate going to communicore and there was no communicore pin so this one worked perfectly i had a figment shirt on at the time and you can never have too much of spaceship earth and figment i stayed at old key west the first half of the trip so they had this new new to me old key west resort pin which i just love that the lighthouse is in the background old key west is just home for me i have so many beautiful childhood memories there my picture is hanging up there my tiktok i did a video about that but i thought this was really cute i love when they do resort specific merch i feel like they don't do enough of that or enough goofy goofy is my favorite and when i saw goofy in a microphone yeah this pin <laughs> Had to happen colors kind of give me the vibe of my disney afternoon shirt today but it's for rock and roller coaster which i haven't been on in a minute because i got stuck on that attraction and you know p 
PTSD, but I loved that he was in his like 90s Lisa Frank microphone love and life. <laughs> so I, I work in radio, so I work with microphones for a living. So yeah, that had to happen. Also another goofy pin, Saratoga Springs. We didn't stay there on this trip, but we went there for lunch quite a few times. And it's a home resort of mine. We stayed there when it first opened. And I remember like driving up and not knowing what anything was gonna be because it was before social media and really the internet taking off. So it was like a complete surprise. So I love that they had the 20th anniversary and that Goofy was on it. I mean, the more Goofy, the better. Second half of the trip, Disney put us up at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, which I always love staying there. And this pin, I loved this pin. Everything about this pin, Jumbo, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. I love Mickey and Minnie's outfits on it. So, so, so cute. Oh, I forgot about this Goofy one and it's appropriate with my shirt today with Max, but it's Goofy and Max and it's the best dad. And it's just like these pictures. They had a couple of movies with this, but anything Goofy and Max and the fact that they're doing eye to eye, yes yes had to happen i am such a sucker for characters and ride vehicles this was the first one i saw grabbed it immediately like i said in my winnie the pooh era so it is era i keep doing that era Pooh and tigger on the honey pots for the many adventures of winnie the pooh this is obviously the ride vehicle in walt disney world i just think that's so cute i wonder how many there are in this series i got mickey and minnie on collie river rapids which is such a beautiful memory in my family when it first opened back in 98 we went on it again and again and again so much that my mom had red shorts on i probably told the story before and the dye ran down and turned her white socks red and we were young at the time and we laughed so hard then this one reminds me of me and my best friend minnie and daisy on the teacups not that her and I have ever been on the teacups together, but Minnie and Daisy. <laughs> I think this one's so cute. I love the colors and Dopey and Grumpy on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which we got to go on this trip. I hadn't been on in a minute and it was so much fun. But wait, there's more pins. When I went, the store was not open with the Tiana's Bayou Adventure merch. They did give us some. So if you missed part one, you want to check some of that swag out. Um, I will be down below and up in the eye. But I did get some stuff since it opened from some cast member friends. So I'm going to share it here. We've got this pin, which I think is just an open edition. We know a shortcut, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I am obsessed with everything about this. The colors, the fact that Lewis is the star with some of the new critters. I truly loved the new critters so, so much. Then we have Mama Odie. She got her own pin. Oh, there's like a little hidden frog on there. I love it. We actually, when we went on, um, a couple of lines in front of us was the voice of Mama Odie. So Mama Odie's now like near and dear, Jennifer Lewis. It was so cool to see her and hear her singing the songs and like truly just loving the attraction. This one, I think is their opening or one of the opening pins. I don't know, but it's of like the last scene, which, or one of the last scenes I should say. It was just like the coolest thing ever. Our jaws were genuinely dropped. So I could hear that special sight spice song. And I love that Charlotte is on there. So, so cute. And then this one is the pass holder opening. Um, I don't know if it's opening day, just like opening season one. And you've got them all there. And it says Walt Disney World pass holder. So I feel like these are the four pins that came out. I don't think there's any that I'm missing, but I will find out soon. Also, if you like pin videos, make sure you're subscribed because yeah, I just did an, a mystery pin unboxing. That was a roller coaster ride and I just ordered last night more. So <laughs> coming soon. Also, when I got the goodies in the mail, they sent me an updated park map, which I will be grabbing a bunch of these next time I go. I got the opening day, I guess, shirt or opening season. It's this beautiful, I don't even think you can tell the color, but it's like um aqua-y teal, like a, a turquoise. It is a turquoise. It says Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Let's get to the party. We have some of the fireflies and some of the like the bottles. And then we have 2024 Magic Kingdom. 
and I love the critters on there with Lewis. Lewis is one of my favorite characters. They're going down the hill. So, 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 so fun. It's a size uh, larger than I am, but I wanted it to be bigger. And I didn't mind that 2024 was on there because I got to open this attraction this year and that's a memory for me. So I don't mind dates on stuff when it's like something significant like that. Like, you know, going to Oogie Boogie Bash last year for the first time. If they had cool merch that had 2023 on it, I would have gotten it, but it wasn't the best merch in the world. Although I'm sure because I'm not going this year, the merch is gonna be stellar. Ain't that always the way. I have another shirt too, and I don't know where it is. If I can find it, I will insert it here. I'm really like living my best life. You know what the problem is? I have too many hauls. I've waited too long. I haven't been feeling good. So they're just pile after pile after pile. And I think some stuff got mixed in or maybe even got put away. Imagine that. Um, so I will have to look for that and uh, be on the lookout because a lot more hauls are coming soon. We'll probably have enough hauls to get me to my next trip. That's how much we have. And then last, but certainly not least, we have a lounge fly. It's been a minute. I think I only had one other lounge fly this year, right? seven dwarfs one maybe but um really I was thinking about this one and they gave it to some of the content creators we didn't get it but one of my cast member friends was like no 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 you're getting it so it is the Tiana's Bayou Adventure lounge fly it is stunning I was nervous what they were gonna do for a lounge fly but I actually didn't think they did a great job so you've got the mountain and the hill I like that you can see like the lights up there and the the bottles. You've got kind of what's become the icon, I guess, the tower. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We have Prince Naveen, who I met for the first time. Tiana in her Bayou outfit. Mama Odie. And Lewis. I love it. And I love this front compartment, actually. I hope I can fit a lot in it, but I kind of, I kind of dig it. Oh, there's the inside. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It says Tiana's Bio Adventure. I don't know if you could see that though. <laughs> then there's fireworks on either side. Love that it has side pockets, gold hardware. Anything on the back? I haven't even opened the back yet. Oh, just the little like Tiana Lotus gold straps. It's a black bag. So I feel like in the hotter months, it is going to get overheated. So maybe not the best to bring on the next trip. See this, I, the inside compartment says Tiana's Bio Adventure. Yeah. Um, very very cool does it have it doesn't have a zipper on the inside compartment but this is a this is a great lounge fly I am so happy to have it it doesn't really overextend too much just a little bit at the top so they all probably will be bent but it's really not that noticeable I am so excited I wish I had this when I went but then again it rained a lot so it probably would have get all gross but yes I'm so excited I have this and it is going right on the, I don't know, the door or the wall or those door. I don't know. It's going to be hung up though, because this is a work of art. Most lounge flies are a work of art. And I'm pretty sure you can get this right now on DisneyStore.com, if I'm not mistaken. I know pretty recently they put up their stuff. So some of this you might be able to get on there. Okay. And now I think that is everything that I forgot to show in part one. If there is anything at this point that I forgot, it will be in one of the next hauls. I have a Primark haul, major box lunch haul, um, small shop haul. I still have the gifts haul, collective haul. Subscribe because we've got a lot coming soon. And I also like to share some videos over on my TikTok and Instagram as well. Love to say hi to you guys over on there. I hope you are doing well and that you've been having a fantastic summer. And I'll talk to you really soon. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.